Deep in the Indian country, steeped in misty legend, night, like a shroud studded with jewels, begins to pale before the first glimmering of day. The lone cry of a coyote and the distant throbbing of drums is heard. As high on a craggy bluff, a chieftain stands alone, monarch of all he surveys. So, leaving the glorious sunrise, we plunge into the back country and come upon an Indian settlement. Greetings, Chief Thundercloud. Sorry to barge in on you like this, Chief, but will you say a few words to us? Um, quote, the Chief says he welcomes us and extends the hospitality of his people and hopes that we enjoy our sojourn in their midst. Unquote. Um, period. To give the Indians a place to pursue their lives in peace, the Great White Father has provided the Indian Reservation. Hmm. Two in the first row for Saturday. Sounds like an Indian on the warpath. Oh, it's a scalper. See, Doc, want to buy a couple of seats on the 50-yard line? Intertribal powwows bring together many tribes. Here are the Blackfeet. The Pawn E. the Cleveland Indians. I wonder what mystic concoction this old witch doctor is brewing. Hug, hug. What am you cook em, chief? Spot a tea, old thing? Gives man a bit of a lift, you know. Cheerio. When the drought is on the land and the merciless sun beats down on the cornfields, The Indian looks to the medicine man to bring rain. Now we shall witness the strange rites. To bring rain, the medicine man performs the snake dance. So let's hurry along before the rain starts. Here we see an Indian weaver at work. These rugs are extremely durable and withstand the sun and rain without showing any wear. Confidentially, it shrinks. The Indian pottery makers vie with each other in the making of beautiful pottery. And here's an Indian who's developed the finest pot in the village. So, off to the trading post they go. Notice how well they balance their pots. Well, well, here's an Indian who hasn't got any pottery. Back in the days of the covered wagon, the territory which is now the state of Oklahoma was known as the Cherokee Strip. Dr. Smaltz, please go to the box office. Dr. Smaltz, fully. The Everglades of Florida is the habitat of the migratory Seminole Indian. The last census shows that there remains of these fast vanishing Americans, but 100,015. Correction, boss, 14. Hmm, no rain yet. Let's see how he's making out. <laughs> hey, he's certainly in the groove. High on a windy hill, far outside the village, a lookout watches for buffalo. Say, Chief, how would you like to see me stuffed? <laughs> buffalo! Here's where modern design makes the big difference as the American Indian moves ahead. On land. In the air. And in the sea. 
The signal is picked up by the Tom Toms. Let's watch him play on his Tom Tom. With the throbbing beat of the Tom Tom, the savage buffalo dance starts. They're off to Buffalo, and there they go. There's a match scramble as they jockey for position. It's Buffalo by 10 lengths and going strong, and uh, Chief Buckethead on the outside, uh, Chief Rain and a puss on the inside, and Satchel Nose on the rail. Watch those arrows fly. rises in great clouds. The wary buffalo cannot escape, for right on their heels the two remaining Indians close in. There'll be meat on the table tonight, but whose table? By the way, let's see how the medicine man's doing. We got him! We got him! And the rains came. Has it ever happened to you? Ha, 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 ha. 